Is the um, soul universe also compartmented with some spheres so that the unified souls don't intermingle with the unaware no. souls? No, the unified souls can actually observe every wow. un soul that's not yet unified or partially, partially in the process of unification. It can also see all of the unincarnated souls as well. But we don't see them, like we don't, we're no, not you, aware of the unincarnated guys. souls are not aware of what they see because okay. yeah, they're not, they're not yet, you could say they're not born yet and not, they haven't incarnated yet in order to become self-aware. Remember the incarnation process is the process of a soul, each half of the soul initially becoming self-aware through the incarnation process. So the, the very first incarnation process, which is the process of conception, which happens at conception, is the actual first part of the soul's awareness and the soul's awareness does not complete until it reaches this unified state then you could say you're fully aware and you could basically say incarnation the, pro the full process of incarnation is now complete when because now it's aware. fully aware mm -hmm. yeah. so we're basically like an unincarnated soul still like almost in because some we're ways not becoming we're, aware of ourselves well you're not aware of your other half yet you see for, for the majority of you not emotionally aware of the other half even so that means that, that you're still in a fairly unaware state, right? There's, a, there's growing awareness. Mm -hmm. And God's created everything to grow uh, just because of the development principle. You can see that that is going to occur, this growth is going to occur. And God created that way so that you can have the experience of growing mm -hmm. and therefore the experience of learning, the experience of self-determination and so forth. All of those things are gifts from God that God's offered you and, uh, and we embrace them or, or resist them, depending on our conditions generally. But at the end, in the end, God's trying to assist us to become aware. Now, can you see in amongst all of that diagram, the sixth sphere is quite a limited state. So the problem with not connecting to God means that you cannot, you cannot actually make the transition between the sixth and the seventh sphere without a connection to God. So you can see that the connection to God becomes extremely important to gaining awareness beyond that state of the sixth sphere. So sixth sphere spirits really in a lot of ways have a lot of a lack of awareness, even though they, when you talk to them, they don't believe they have. Right? Usually they have quite a feeling that oh, I know a lot now. And sure, they know a lot more right, than any person on earth knows right? by, by factors of thousands. Right, but they are still, from God's perspective, living in an unaware state because they're unaware of God. So they're living in an unaware state about the universe. Make sense? Okay. So there are the terms we're using. Let's have a look at the terms about transformation. So transformation is the potentiality offered to the human soul with, no, with what? Firstly, it needs to have this thing called desire remember we've talked about desire now for the last two days in particular very important factor in fact it's not a will-based process at all it's a desire based process it's only desire that activates this process 